Hi guys, and welcome to some alpha footage of Ruins of Eliwar. Today we're going to be showcasing the monk class. It's still a work in progress, but these are the basic skills that will be used in the game. So for this demonstration, I have a basic target dummy here, and my one character. <laughs> that doesn't look much like a monk, but for right now, uh, she is a monk. Okay, four skills. Um, Monk is a bit different than other classes because not many of their abilities are able to be shared to get, uh, of other classes because as you would recall in Ruins of Eliwar, you can learn other classes skills and equip them on your own once you learn them. But since monks use a fist weapon and only monks can use fist weapons, the skills that require fist weapons are only able to be used by monk. And this will, this is a, a balancing problem because a lot of the abilities are auto attack based, and if other classes were given them, it would make some of some really troubling balancing issues. Um, so let's see. We have mostly buffs for monks to their auto attacks, and these buffs are instant at the time of recording this video. First of all, we have uh, some Fist of Ice and Fist of Malice. These will give your character a buff that will make your auto attacks do a percentage damage of the auto attack in the ele element chosen. So Fist of Ice incre uh, does ice damage and Malice does dark damage. So we can see that here, Just use Fist of Ice, and up here you can see it will last five turns and now all my at auto attacks, and this is only the initial auto attack, will trigger the ice. And if I do Fist of Malice, it will also give me a buff, and this stacks with it. And as these are instant, it is still my turn, not the bee's turn, although the bee does not do any, doesn't actually have a turn because it's a test dummy, dummy. You will be able to do this in the game at once. They do cast mana. So let's check this out in action. When I attack, you can see that the ice and the dark damage did damage to the bee, as well as my auto attack. Next, we have Unrelenting Assault. Now this gives you a buff as well. And what this does is it gives your auto attacks a chance to proc another auto attack at a 40% damage value. Now these procced damage uh, auto attacks can also proc themselves, so you can, if you are lucky, get up to five of these extra attacks. Uh, it does only have a small percentage chance to hack, and I think it's 25 right now, but yeah, see I didn't get it there, but um, our next ability is, you can see two of these are grayed out, there are three of these. Uh, we have Brawling Bear, Kick, and Mend are all grayed out. Why they're grayed out is because they take Chakra to use. Now what Chakra does is it gives you a buff. As you can see here, it lasts six turns, and here's where how many stacks of it you have. So for each out attack or skill you do, it gives you a stack of Chakra. So now I have one Chakra. Now I have two Chakra. Now you can see that it unlocks Kick, and it unlocks Brawling Bear. These will take your chakra to do the ability and then your chakra will disappear. Well, how much you've used of it. Uh, lastly, we have Mend, which takes three. Um, this one heals the monk based on attack damage. So you don't have to worry about only having your staff equipped, which will have uh, uh, magic defense, which is your healing stat. This is actually based off of your attack damage and it heals for a significant amount. So our last ability here will be called Bone Crusher, and what this does is puts a mark on the enemy, and you can see down here it has a trigger of three. So each attack in the next three turns done to it by our monk will have a 25% of their damage done over those three turns. At the end of it, it will calculate and do all that damage. So um, let's go ahead and rebuff ourselves here fully. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and do a couple auto attacks. Okay, so it's a good amount of damage. Hopefully, you can get procs in this. And now we're going to use our relic ability, which we've stored, and this is gonna increase our damage triple and use our kick ability, which does a good amount of damage. And that will do your relic damage triple amount to the B. Hopefully we get a bunch of uh, auto attack or uh, procs 
and then it will do the damage from Bone Crusher after that. It'll calculate all the damage done in the last three turns and do 25% of it to the beat. And there you go, 138 damage from, from Bone Crusher and then the 430 something from the kick. So, as you can see, Monk is all about buffing your auto attacks and then using Bone Crusher as a buff to the enemy when you're all buffed up. Use as many damaging, like a highest damaging ability as you can. This is a good time to have other classes that have buffs, such as bards, or in further videos, we'll show other classes that can buff and put all your buffs you can on your monk. And then on those three turns, just go as hard as you can, and it'll do 25% of all damage done. And that for now is monk as of this video. I'll do updated monk. Uh, video later on once we get some balancing here and once we uh, continue on making the game we'll see what other abilities that we'll give them um, one that is not showed here is uh, the same as kick but it does uh, it takes five chakra and it will do exceedingly more amount of damage um, I'm still just working on it, so it's not showing up right now, but it will be in the finished product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the Ruins of Eliwar channel, and I will post more class updates and updates about the game and devlogs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.